fantastic you are making progress let's move on to our sixth important topic around invoke code so what i'm going to cover in this video i am going to cover some of the important codes baby.net codes that you can write inside the invoke code activity i am going to show you some of the microsoft reference documents and highlight some of the points where you can start your practice so let's get started first of all invoke code right so invoke code is our next topic so in invoke code i have actually got an example which is going to help you in detail to at least to start with anybody who doesn't know how to write vb.net code at least this example would help you to start with and this example i have actually uh, let me refer it i have actually got it from uh, the uipath document invoke code uipath docs if you go here and in this down below there is a download example you can also download and understand this okay so let me explain what is this our understanding is more important and then run doing a practical on your own is also important now on this one the invoke code activity when you drag and drop there are a couple of important points so here first of all what we have done we have created two variables on the screen the first variable is a example in value okay we are passing a value we have created a variable in value and whose value is i have given hello world i have slightly modified to make it more appropriate um, what i thought hello world so what i am doing i am assigning a value hello world to the variable in value and there is a out value out value which is an integer type that's it so this is the variable which has been shown to you next thing once the once you drag and drop the invoke code right there will be something called edit argument if you click on edit argument okay so there are two different arguments been created and i'm passing the value example in value and out value i am passing these two arguments you can create it in the arguments panel and then you know click on the edit argument it will automatically appear and you all all have to do is pass the variables here so once you pass the variable what happens example in value contains what hello world right the variable example in value contains what so this is understanding is required in the exam you don't have anything to do okay only in your brain you have to think so what i am so that exercise has to happen from now so what i am passing hello world i am passing to the variable example in value and out value is completely blank okay in the in the exam only the screenshots will be given and you can can't do practice all you have to do is thinking so the data has been passed so what happens in the invoke code hello world will be passed here yes or no and out value will remain because the value has to come from the code itself from the code it should come so this is at the moment it's null there is not no value okay now let's look at the code how this codes are written and you have to practice some of the codes let me hit on edit code okay and maximize this okay hope you can see it now if you uh, if you have done baby.net right so dim dim means you are declaring the variable right dimension so you are declaring the variable dim text to write as string so that means text to write is a variable you are defining as a string variable okay like you are create, creating in uipa studio simply by going there and typing here in in terms of code that this is how you write okay and then text to write we are giving assigning a value so in the second step what we are doing we are assigning a value to the variable okay and console dot write line means it's supposed to write like we do a print right print command similar way console dot write line in ui path you use a message box right or a uh, write line activity right write line activity similar way console dot write line is the vb.net code when you write it is going to print the value of the variable so what would be the output example will be the first output okay now here i am saying console dot write line example in arguments means example in arguments contains what hello world right we are passing the argument value so it will print here hello world so here it is printing example here it is printing hello world and here it is going to example out dot argument so that means this value will go out of the code so where it will go the code will go if you look at the argument the code 1 2 3 4 will come to the out value and what in the out value we are doing we are simply trying to print the out value right output value okay so we are printing the output value using a right line activity 
so what should be the output example hello world one two three four so if i run this so likewise uh, if this kind of a um, you know examples are given or the images are given you should be able to understand what should be the right value okay that is the intention uh, to check how much you know okay how much the, are you aware of the codes dot net codes okay so let's see i'm also giving i'm going to talk about very important points okay just stay tuned and once you complete always mention completed in the comment section do not miss that and practice all this so what is happening you can see the output has come example hello world example hello world 1 2 3 4 okay so this three values has come okay this is one example let's move on to the second example okay so sec for the second example i am using the uh, ui path academy practice test example okay so here what they are doing in the invoke code look at this how the questions are been asked and in the exam also similar way the, your question would appear a graph will be given or sorry image will be given and from the image you need to understand what should be the output so look at this what is happening here they are using an invoke code activity and it is saying uh, list it's a list variable uh, dot add add is a method so where do you get this dot add dot reverse can can you learn somewhere yes you can learn i'm going to show you so where can you learn so uh, i'm going to pass all these links string class and there's also something called list class microsoft docs so here if you go and on the left side there is something called methods okay so if you i'll pass this link in the description check this if you go to the methods there are multiple different methods like add add means what is the usage of add if you click on this if you click on that button it will tell you system.collection.io adds an object to end of the list so in the if the list is there you have created one two three then at the end let's say four it is going to add at the bottom of the list that is the usage of this okay uh, what is the then what they have used they have used reverse okay reverse uh, for reverse again look at the documentation so couple of things from this microsoft docs you should practice you should start writing the code okay so here you can see what is the meaning if somebody is writing reverse that means reverses the order of the element in the entire list so it will reverse the order so this is important and then if you are writing reverse let's say i am writing 3 comma 5 and in the list there are five different elements so from 3 to 5 it will reverse okay reverse the order of the element in the specified range okay this is very important so if any questions comes if you have practiced you can really answer it if you have not practiced you just know it then it will be difficult okay so this is understood likewise what are the other th so what would happen let's focus on the question so uh, if you look at this is a list variable and uh, value list customer id so they are passing a variable called list customer id okay and uh, they are they are writing the list customer id is a variable which contains 101 102 if it contains 102 and you are adding 103 so what would happen below that 103 will get added if you are writing dot reverse then what is happening 103 102 101 will be the output okay and here it is just following you know looping through that list and it is getting printed so what should be the answer 103 102 so this should be the answer okay this is quite simple this is quite simple what if i tell you try this out just write reverse in the bracket 2 comma 1 or uh, 1 comma 2 you write just try to reverse it so here what we are trying to do write the same code simply instead of reverse reverse in the bracket you write 1 comma 2 try this and comment me what was the output for the same example okay so likewise in the list at least there are two things you should practice but i think one is your string and the list okay or sometimes dictionary all these things you can practice same way you can look list uh, list microsoft docs something you know if you type it it will come in in the google so you practice add you practice add range okay these are a couple of important points you should practice i'm not able to highlight um, then you can also find insert insert range last index of okay uh, remove range reverse sort to uh, okay couple of things from here you should just have a look and understand okay what that will do at least you should know the definition okay at least you should know the definition and here in the string uh, compare to com uh, compare concat okay contains these are all important ones okay compare ordinal copy to create okay 
So, couple of things, whichever fe feels comfortable to you, at least read through the definition of wallet. For example, if somebody is using uh, concat, okay, this method is used, okay, string dot concat. So, if somebody is using this, what is the meaning of it? Concatenates one or more instances of the string. Okay, it will add two instances of the string and there are also different ways to do it. Okay, just try some of it. You don't have to be a vb.net developer and you don't have to know everything, but some of the basic stuff you should know. Okay, at least the definitions, how, how what should be the output, that kind of a um, knowledge at least you should have. Okay, so follow both the links minimum, minimum you should follow, maximum you can do whatever you like. Uh, minimum, these are the two things you should prepare. Okay, so um, so we got the answer. We got to know what to follow. So that's the uh, in, intent of this uh, topic. So please do prior practice invoke code properly, and then um, let me know the question that I had asked. And once you have completed, always write completed in the comment section. So let's meet on on our next video, guys. Bye bye.